have and love it. It's like that's what we were hoping would be the case. It was so wild to have it come out and be at like number one on iTunes within a couple hours. It was wild. You probably didn't expect that, huh? No, I mean, I guess we didn't really know what to expect. Uh, it just feels like a whole new step for us. And it, it, we know the music is really good. So that was, you know, there's a lot of confidence going into it. But just to feel that validation was really good. And you guys were saying that this is the first time that you guys were really hands-on with producing. Mm. Yeah. And writing. What have you guys found because of you? So what was like probably the hardest thing about collabing with all of you guys and trying to make one cohesive sound for this piece of work? I I don't think it was it was really that challenging at all. I I think um, and I mean to start I'll say that the, that you know some of this music that's on the album you know was written two years ago and it's, it's just been sitting in the vault and uh, you know there were some songs that we had written on the road that we felt were really special and. We were just kind of waiting for the right moment to let them shine. Um, and, um, you know, over the quarantine, our process got delayed a little bit, uh, but it gave us a little bit of extra time to actually write a couple uh, more of the songs that made the album and are some of our favorite songs that we've ever written, which includes Fallen, uh, which was actually the last song that we wrote for the album. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was honestly pretty effortless. The album kind of just came together and we were like, oh, shit, this is an album we have here. <laughs> Yay! So I know that you, you, you are over there, Jack, in the corner, yawning. I know you're so tired. Uh, what is your favorite song on the album? Do you know yet? Or, um, I mean, obviously, one of, like, one of my favorites is Fallen, but I have another one that I can't tell you. Do you guys, are, are you guys on the same page of your favorite songs or do you guys each have your own like different favorite song off the album? It like varies all yeah. the time. I know. Like, I, it depends on how I'm feeling. <coughs> sure. But I love every single song on the whole album. Like there's not one that I would ever skip. If it was yeah. Yay. All right. So now let's get to questions from your fans. If you, Sylvia or Gabby, Faith, have any questions? Let's 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 answer those now. How about Faith? Do you have a question for her? why don't we? Yes. My question is when you feel like you're in a, a creative funk and just stuck, what do you do to get out of it? Mm. I do everything but make music for a second. I don't feel like music should be forced, you know, you should be inspired uh, to make something and it you know, it, it is weird when, when music becomes your job because sometimes it does feel like work and you feel this weird pressure that you need to make music, but um, yeah, if your brain isn't feeling it, walk away for a sec, go drink water. That probably will help too. Mm -hmm. And just clear your mind, you know, go watch a TV show or something. We definitely had days though, like where we'd meet up to write and then it just wasn't the vibe and then we wouldn't write that yeah. day and we'd come back and then it would be the vibe the next time. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, it's just kind of paying attention to what your brain wants to do. And if that's not right, then it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we all have those days where we're just like, oh, I can't do this today. So thank you for answering that. Gabby, do you have a question? Yes, I do. Um, I have a, qu a question. What was your favorite part about shooting Fallen? Hmm, I think it was, the, it was the performance part of it with yeah. all the instruments. Like mm, the water splashing everywhere. It was <laughs> such an awesome, epic moment. Uh, I mean, we, we shot that shot for probably three hours or so. Yeah. Um, and although it messed up my boots because we were standing in water <laughs> for that long, it was, it was awesome because I, I just kept imagining it being uh, a live show. And like the, the performance on tour is going to be next level. Mm -hmm. Lots of energy. <laughs> Yeah, especially since you guys have been able to perform in so long from your break and then COVID, and I'm sure you guys were pruny and wrinkled after that wet set. Sylvia, do you have a question? Uh, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Sylvia. Oh, <laughs> breathe. You're all good, sis. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. What the heck? <laughs> we love you, Sylvia. Uh, I have eight letters tattooed on me for you guys. Oh, this is my favorite song. 
Holy. Wow. Nuts. Well, now you got to go get Fallen tattooed. <laughs> no, that's insane. Wow, that's, that's, that's so cool. Thank you. I mean, shit. Wow. <laughs> they are super fans. The niece is there. The sister is there. Everyone was just so excited and looking forward to hanging out with you guys. Sylvia, do you have a question? Do you want to ask it? Um, I just wanted to tell them something really quick. Last year, um, at the pop up shop, you guys sang "Happy Birthday" to my niece. Wow. Can you guys? Tell her happy birthday again. <laughs> happy birthday. What's her, what's her name? Marilyn. Marilyn, did you sing it? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Marilyn. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then, um, during your producing, do you guys have like any like weird little uh sounds that you guys go off of? Because like last time when uh I was talking to Bozzy, he was saying like, oh, sometimes when he listens to like birds chirping or something, like he'll get a beat from that. And I was just wondering if you guys have anything like that. My voice memos have some of the weirdest random sounds in them. Oh, I'm scared, dude. <laughs> weird things in there. Just weird. That's noises cool. There, like, here. I don't know. Yeah, definitely. It just goes for years. Dang. Yeah, we, we pull from weird. One time I remember Corbin, we were in like a we were on like a busy road and there was this big long metal and Corbin oh, oh. hitting it with his ring and we were like, oh, it was like, and we, were, yeah, I don't know, did we ever use it? Uh, not yet. No. Well, we did in an unreleased. Oh, track. I know what we used it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can pretty much get inspired from anything, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's just sound all around, you know? Sound yes. All around. <laughs> Jack, Jonah, Corbin, and Daniel, thank you so much for hanging out with us with this Wild 949. Why don't we take yes. over part? Your guys' song is so awesome. Your video gets through that wet scene for three hours. And again, thank you so much for hanging out with us and our listeners. We can't wait for this all to be over, COVID-19 to be over, so you can come back to the station and so we can see you perform live. Yes. Yeah. Hope to see you soon. Sounds great to me.